Hello, my name is Anne Smith and this is my tiny studio in Pontypridd in the UK. There's just room in here for one quilt on the floor. This is where I do the piecing and then it goes on the pin board behind me. If I want to stand back and see the work I have to take it outside and hang it on the garden fence. All my quilts are made and designed by hand and usually they're fairly big. Piecing and constructing one is like making a very slow painting. It takes months to make. I don't use a sewing machine or computer. I work from drawings and all my fabric comes from recycled garments and textiles. My quilt in the exhibition is called Brittle Crazy Glass. It came about because a friend of mine was part of a group helping to feed the homeless people around the city and she asked me would I like to come and help. I was a bit worried at first but week by week I got to know the people, I really warmed to them and they made a big impression on me. When I got home I tried to remember some of the people I'd met and draw them from memory. I then tried using different weights of fabric such as curtains, coffee sacks, denim jeans, pockets and seams and I tried to recreate the texture of the streets and apply it to the characters. In this quilt there are two people that I met. The tall man's appearance startled me at first. He had lots of energy and quite starry eyes. But when I got to know him he was really gentle and interesting to talk to. He asked me what I thought about the new top he was wearing. He thought it looked really smart. But his friends told him it was a woman's top and when he asked me what I really thought I said he looked great and he was really pleased. The girl sitting down is much quieter. The words in the quilt read rodent bait. I saw this when we were taking some food to a man living in a doorway in a tent. In the doorway was the notice rodent bait laid here. He wouldn't come out of his tent so we left the food just outside, worrying that the rats might find it before he did. I was very moved by people's stories and their different characters. I wanted to picture them in a light, colourful space, somewhere bright and hopeful. My husband said it reminded him of a stained glass window, which brought to mind some lines from George Herbert's poem, The Windows, where he says that Man may be imperfect, like brittle crazy glass, but might also be a window through thy grace. 